How's it going guys, Alex here, and welcome to a different type of video. I'm basically going to be addressing some of the feedback that I received on my most recent SSR analysis video. And to be honest, I have seen some similar feedback on other um, on other SSR analysis videos, but it wasn't till now that I decided to address it, and I've had some people close to me say the exact same thing, so I'm trying to think of how to word this. Basically, when I make my SSR analysis, my SSR analysis videos, I take into account that basically each person has the best cards and then at the and by doing that I am basically saying that a card is bad. It's kind of weird, but basically in my LR Piccolo SSR analysis, I was like, okay, this is the best team and if you have all these great units, he isn't going to fit very well. So basically I took the best team possible that you can make and I basically said that Piccolo wouldn't fit in it because you have all these great units. But again, that is um I can't think of the word. That is basically Assuming that all of you guys do have these great units, thus I'm taking away from the actual card itself. Whereas, uh, if we quickly go back to some of my earlier SSR analysis videos, for example, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, um, AoEs, Ultimate Gohan, I will just take a look at the card and then tell you guys which one is the best. But nowadays, I go over their mono teams and that does affect my opinion on the card, if that makes any sense. And you will know what I mean if you've seen, if you've been here from the um, start of my SSR analysis videos, if you go ahead and watch my first ones and compare them to now, you will see that I do talk about mono teams massively. Which I shouldn't, there should be a medium, I should be, um, what do you call it, I should be in the middle. Like, there should be a happy medium between the two. I should go into mono teams and not focus too much on the mono teams and let that affect my opinion too much just let it be on the side i do feel like that should be a smaller portion of the video and i agree with, like i completely agree with what you guys said some guy left a comment um i can't find it now but basically he says here i understand he says that he ain't good in those teams what he just mentioned ella piccolo is only bad if you have those cards that i mentioned and that is completely true i completely agree and hopefully i can change the way i do think um things in the future i will try my very best I will most likely be uploading another SSR analysis video today and hopefully I can move away from the mono teams and focus more on the card itself and how it can be useful and I may actually not include the mono teams, just cut out mono teams completely just because um, to be honest um, I'm trying to find a good, a good example of one uh, okay so if you take this into account I'm not going to play the audio but basically Okay, I went over each card, okay, and then at the end, I will just give a winner, okay? I will take a look at each individual card, take a look at which one is the best, and then say which one is obviously the best out of the, um, out of the three. Well, in that case, it was three. But yeah, um, the reason why I started to delve more into mono teams is because the majority of you guys, or the majority of you guys used to, Asked for mono teams and how well they would fit into that team, but now I kind of delved a little bit much in, like a little bit too much into it, and now I'm taking away from the actual value of the card. LR Piccolo isn't a bad unit by any means. I'm just going to address this now. But as I said in the video, if you have those units, he isn't that great, which in turn make it seem like he is a bad unit, and it's kind of all over the place. But I will try my very best to change the way things have been going. Hopefully. And I hope you guys do appreciate this video. I appreciate all the feedback that you guys leave. But if you're being like, if you're a dick when you're leaving your feedback, I mean, I will still accept that feedback. But it's kind of annoying because I appreciate that you're give, um, giving feedback, but you don't really need to be a dick because I do make mistakes. And obviously, if you do give me feedback, I can learn from it. Like I'm going to hopefully in the future. And you know what? I'll definitely will. <laughs> um, we will find out later today. Hopefully. But that is pretty much it guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and I don't know why you would enjoy it, just basically me, uh, your vo okay here we go, it's a new comment, your viewpoint is based on the fact that he, that we have Godly in the game, yeah there we go, perfect, I would appreciate more if you can provide your opinion of these cards in a team with no God Leader and only depend on a friend God Leader for the unit, so basically what this guy is saying is that I should be taking, I shouldn't really be taking into account the um, mono leads, which is fine, and <clears throat> I'll hopefully be able to do that later on today, but I've pretty much addressed everything, and I hope you guys do appreciate this video, and I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.